So, Vols beat Vandy yesterday, 24-17. Going bowling. I get more into the game in a minute. I don't have too much about it because, I mean, too busy to make a video and do apologize for that. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, though. First off, thoughts and prayers go out to Eric Berry. And then today, Justin Hunter ruptured his plane against the Texans. Both of those are serious. Um, so thoughts and prayers got to both of them and their families. I mean, it's just so much more to, to life than football. But uh, just I'm going to cover a bunch of different topics today. I'll, I'll probably end up forgetting something. But uh, Vols beat Vanderbilt. I mean, I wasn't pleased with the game. But it's a win. We got bowl eligible, which was our whole goal this year. So I'm happy about that. What can you say, Vandy? I knew they were going to play us tough. And uh, their coach finally smarted up and played the quarterback out of Maryville High School, Patton Robinette. I, I, he beat us in Neyland last year. Felt like he had a lot to – I always thought he had a lot to prove against us. Maybe we should have given him a scholarship or something. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I th I th the game probably would have turned out much differently had uh, Jalen Hurd not went out with the concussion. We we're just real limited to what we could do in the run game. We had that big punt return. I thought when that happened, we were we were going to get on a roll, but it just didn't happen. I mean, give credit to Vandy; they they played tough. Um, finally broke that win streak they had against us. Defensively, what can you say? Player of the our player of the year by far, Derek Barnett. He's doing stuff that. I mean, he's if he should be all American. That's all I got to say. Making plays left and right. I mean, he's not just a, a sack machine. He stops the run in the backfield. Um, but anyways, guess there's. I mean, I'm I'm hearing tons of different bowls we can go to. The Belk Bowl in Charlotte, Music City Bowl, um, the Liberty Bowl. I'm really gonna speculate until. Until we see for sure what it's going to be next week. I'd like to see it be the Music City Bowl. Be a easy trip close to home. But I'm not going to complain either way. Looks like we're going to have to find a new opponent to kick off the season next year with. Because it looks like UAB's shutting their football team down. Can't get the funds for it. So I don't even know what's going to, if we're even going to still play in the LP field to start the year. Or we're going to have to move back to Neyland. Who knows. Still a long way off. Um, Nebraska fires Bo Pelini today. I mean, give me a break. The guy went 9-3. and three. When does that deem you got to fire somebody? I mean, at the end of the day, you there's only one team a year that's going to win a national championship. I think I counted. There's been like, in the past 10 years, only five teams have won the national championship. Five different teams. So, it's, it's really something hard to do. So, if you're just basing your whole season off of winning the national championship... Um, championship weekend congrats to the Missouri Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide and all their fans on here did what they had to do to win the SEC their divisions you know um, who do I think is going to win I think it's going to be a close game this weekend Bama's defense looks to look not good in the Iron Bowl yesterday but their offense one of the best of all time with Lane Kiffin Missouri's got a good defense. I don't know. Could be low scoring. Could be a blowout. Don't really know. Don't really care. I wanna. I can't wait for us to be back there. But I'm glad that we. I'm glad football's not over. For the first time since 2010, football is not ending on Thanksgiving weekend for the Tennessee Volunteers, and that's all we could ask for. So we'll holler back. I'll holler back when I figure out what bowl we're playing in. And. Hope everybody has a good week. Go Vols, as always.